Hello, Louisa. I'd like to start by asking you a personal question. What was your dream when you were a little girl and who did you become today? Wow. Uh, when I was eight, I wanted to be Indiana Jones and James Bond at the same time. Uh, I don't think I'm either one of those now, but I, uh, I've managed to find a place where I can be occupied with people and the stories that they tell and the differences across cultures and the secret things that we can uncover if we take the time to. How can we use technology to improve the life of others and our lives? The opportunities are, I think, uh, virtually unlimited. Um, I think the real trick is to always put the human in focus. When we design projects, when we design experiences, when we make new services, instead of thinking about what the technology can do, we should be looking at people and what they love to do, what they need to do, what they want to do, and let that be the guide for development. So that was the focus of the workshop that I did yesterday. What are the biggest challenges and the opportunities that could rise from applying this to, um, to new solutions? Sorry? Okay, I'll repeat my question. Yeah. What are the biggest challenges and uh, opportunities in using technology to improve lives of others? Well, the challenge is to focus on the technology instead of the human. The, uh, sorry, that's the, the danger. The danger is to focus on the technology instead of the person. That's how you wind up with either things that have unintended consequences, things that um, we don't see the negative effects until it's a little bit too late, um, or things that nobody needs, things that don't actually do any good for people. Uh, I think that it's in some ways easier for businesses to focus on the technology um, and on the revenue models because those things are quite fixed, whereas people are a little bit more complicated, a little bit more chaotic. And uh, so it can be perceived as quite difficult to start with the human, but that's also where you have the most sustainable rewards. Um, people are the heart of every system. People are the ones who will make a product a success or a failure, who will love a brand or not love it, who will make businesses run effectively or not. So people in the long term are the really only sustainable focal point for a strategy. And so that's where the opportunity lies, is to have a more sustainable path forward by focusing on the human. How do superheroes or superpowers uh, inspire new technologies? Excellent question. Um, well, I think that technology has the, has the capability to give us all superpowers, but only if we apply it correctly. And I also think that, uh, as Salvatore often says, uh, what we imagine uh, to be the future often shapes what we create as the future. So when we imagine ourselves with superpowers, with, with capabilities that feel like magic to us today, that sort of shapes the way that we think about the things that we make. And, uh, and that can lead us to make more productive, more useful technologies. If there's one superpower you would like to have, which one would it be and what problem would you solve? And this is my last question. Oh dear. Um, all right, I gotta go with the standard one. Uh, a lot of things came into my head just there. Uh, honestly, teleportation. I travel a lot. I have, uh, I have godchildren. I have family and friends all over the world. And I find, I, find I, I never have quite enough time to see everybody that I want to see and to have all the conversations that I want to have at events like this. And if I could just reclaim the time that it takes me to get places, um, I, I feel like that would help. At the same time, though, I, I don't know if that's actually true because Maybe that time when I'm sitting in trains and airports and airplanes, maybe that's time that I need to, to not be thinking, to not be engaging, to not be on. And um, so even, even I'm not sure that, that whatever superpower I would give myself would actually make me better. Thank you so much. Thank you.